Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Crafty Rhea and this is part two of the Echo Park unboxing. The first one I showed you the whole box and I showed you everything that was in it. And this one I am going to show you these two paper packs that came in it. I'll actually open each one and show you all of the papers. These were from the Echo Park Mystery Box from their warehouse sale. <clears throat> it, this video is not sponsored at all by Echo Park. I purchased them on my own because I really like mystery boxes. And I thought I would share these paper packs with you. I'm not sure what I'm going to use them for, you know, what I'm going to make with them, but maybe you will have some inspiration for me and hopefully you can give me some ideas and I'll be happy to make some videos along the way. So let's dig into what we have here. This first pack I'm going to show you is the Dino Friends or Dino Friends. I'm not sure how they mean to pronounce it. It reminds me of Dino from the Flintstones, and I love the Flintstones. So this is an Echo Park pack, and it comes in this plastic sleeve. And I will tell you a secret about these plastic sleeves. Um, they do work well to store your papers in, and I will use them sometimes to put in maybe a scrapbook page that I'm working on, um, before it's ready to go into the album. However, they are a little difficult to constantly be putting the papers in and out of if you wanted to keep your collection together. So I use these hefty jumbo storage bags. These are two and a half gallon. I think the two gallon ones work as well and I think Ziploc makes a two gallon. You can get them at Walmart or at sometimes at the dollar store. You just have to watch for them. Um, they're where, you know, obviously where any of these bags are sold. And here is one of the bags. And I will show you that it does fit the 12 by 12 size and you have plenty of room left over. And you can even add other matching embellishments and stuff in here. Once you start cutting into your paper pack, you can keep everything all together in one of these bags. They're wonderful. I love them for these types of collection kits. So we'll get started and I'll show you what's in this one. The first page on the back, we have these cut aparts, or I call them cut aparts. These are three by four inches and they work really well on a four and a quarter by five and a half card or you can use them as a journaling spot or whatever and they're really cute. Some of them would make really cute cards. And then we have the cute dinosaurs. It's really pretty paper. And on the back we have some green polka dots. I love this plaid. That is so pretty. And it goes really well with the green polka dots, I think. What's nice about this, most of these papers don't have dinosaurs on them, so you can use them for just about any event. This is um, some red circles with stars inside kind of cool. These are some more of this, the cut aparts. They are um, three inches, no four inches by six inches. So they're a little too big for the small cards, the A2 cards, but they would work on a larger card or in an album. And then the back is like a stone path. Then we have the circles. They're really pretty. Some of the circles have dots. Kind of cool. And then the back is this blue pattern. Looks like a like a boy shirt. We have the words, all kinds of neat dinosaur words. And on the back, it's this arrow pattern or triangles. Again, it looks like a boy shirt. 
This would make a cute little boy's card, the little dinosaurs. And what's nice about this, the print is really small, so you could cut it into small pieces and you'll still have something that looks really nice. And we have some yellow polka dots. We have these dinosaurs on like a sand or, you know, dirt ground background, kind of cool. On the back we have the palm trees, or like a prehistoric palm tree, kind of pretty. And we have some really bright colored polka dots. I really like bright colored items. Very cool. And then the back is this cross pattern, or plus sign in like yellow and an orange. Then we have these bright stripes, which is really fun. And then an orange and white stripe on the back. I love this one. These little dinosaurs, they do remind me of Dino on um, the Flintstones, but there's no purple ones, so but that they're still really cool. And what's nice about this paper, if you notice, they're not lined up completely. They're almost on a diagonal, so if you cut a little bit off, it's gonna be okay, because it's not perfect on purpose. And then this is the footprints. I don't know if you guys can hear my bird in the background, but he just said, wow, he's very excited about this paper. And then the dinosaur eggs, and these have little spots on them. And they're in all different colors. And then this is more of that paper that looks like uh, the ground dirt or sand. It's kind of pretty. And then here's the stickers. I love their sticker sheets. And give you an idea of what it all says. It's kind of neat and another one of those palm trees. That's kind of cool. One thing I will show you is that with this paper pack and with some of the things that came in the kit, as you can see, you can mix and match your collections because like some of these brighter things will go great with this paper pack. Some of those jewels, the colors will look really good. Same with, thing with some of these summery ones would go great with this paper pack as well. So you can mix and match. Don't be afraid to mix and match. And I'll show you how it fits right into this big bag. holds it really nicely and it's really easy to get the paper in and out and there you go. It's, I think it's much easier to deal with than the um, packs, the uh, thing, <laughs> the plastic that it comes with. I couldn't think of what it was called. Okay, and then the next paper pack that I have is the Magic and Wonder and this one is like Disney. It's not branded as Disney, um, but it kind of reminds you of Disney and I'm sure it's themed because of Disney just not with the life licensing all right so here we are we have the front and right on the back of that one are these cut aparts M is for me my first name's Maria so that could be for me and you can make cards out of these. These are three inches by four inches, so they would go great on a card, and these would make really nice cards. Most of them would be absolutely perfect for cards. And we have the larger ones. These are three, or four by six inches. I love the camera. The camera is so cool. And then the back is black and white, white and black polka dots. These are four inch squares and they would be great on cards. 
That would be great for someone that does a crossword puzzle. And then the back is a blue and a light blue chevron. Here are some circles or some dots. They're really pretty and on a lot of the patterns that are in this pack. So that's really cool. And the back is red with stars. This is an awesome stripe. Very pretty. Very different from anything that I already have. It's kind of cool. And the back is white stars on a yellow background. I love these cameras. The cameras are so cool. Absolutely love those cameras. There's a lot that I could do with that page. I'd hate to cut it though because it's so cool. And then the back is black with multicolored polka dots. Here's some borders. Magical fun and you're never too old to wish upon a star. Very cool. And the castles are really neat. Like it. And then there's the stripes. And the stripes go really well with that. That's really good. Like it. And here's a whole page of castles. And the yellow and white polka dots. These are two inch squares. They'd be good to cut apart separately or to use as a border or to use a group of them together, however you like to do it. Do you guys remember these, these little viewfinder things? I can't remember what they were called. Loved those when I was a kid. I used to have a huge collection. And then on the back is musical notes in all different colors. Very neat. And this is kind of, I'll call this dizzy dots because that's what it reminds me of. Just random dots everywhere. And then numbers on the back. They look like old typewriter keys, kind of. And here are different size squares. There's that viewfinder thing again. And we have a bingo card, which is fun. Love it. And then, oh, I love the back. That plaid. Very, very pretty. Love that plaid. And then here's some really neat words, very festive and fun. And then the back is, reminds me of Minnie Mouse. It's the black polka dots on a red background. And we have the sticker sheet, which is awesome. You've got some flags and some balloons and the camera and that viewfinder thing. All this kind of neat stuff. Love it. And also, some of the things that were in the box I think would go good with this pack, even though they're not meant to go with this pack. Like, this is more Summer Dreams, and it's got a lot of the dots and stuff, and I think it would go great. Even these, some of those would go good. And then there was this which is like once upon a time and it has that castle, grand adventure, that would work well with this pack as well. So you can really mix and match your stuff. I love doing that. All right, well, I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna make with these packs. So if you have any ideas, please let me know. If you want to see me maybe do a whole pack, like see how many cards I can get out of a pack or something like that, that might be kind of fun to do as well. So leave me some ideas below and we'll kind of decide together what I should do with this. Otherwise, it's going to sit in my stash and I'm going to hoard it, which is fine too, but it's probably better that I actually use it and then I can share it with you. So please do give me a thumbs up and also hit subscribe so you can see the rest of my videos as I send them out. This is part two. I'll be making one more with two more of these packs that I'm going to open up. 
So stay tuned for that. You guys take care, and I hope you have a wonderful and a crafty day. Bye-bye.